what's up guys this is adam from 3dmodelswall.com welcome to another maya tutorial today we're gonna create realistic metal in arnold and maya and also we're gonna light it using an hdr lighting there is a lot of tips we're gonna use in this tutorial to create a more realistic uh, metal so let's get started so this is the scene i have i have these nails scattered across the scene and uh, i have here the polyplane as a background and uh, now there is no any lights or there's nothing so this is the outliner we have the plane we have a group of all the nails in it and then we have a camera so let's do a quick render and see what result we got okay now so we get black render because uh, there is no lights in the scene so let's start uh, creating lights right now so let's go to arnold lights and then let's click on sky dome light since we're gonna be creating an hdri image to emit the light for this scene so now i have the dome light created so this settings control the dome light so we want to make sure we plug in the color the hdri image so let's do that and then let's locate the image so i'm gonna use this warehouse image okay so now we have it loaded in our scene and as you can see we can rotate around and see like the hdri uh, easily in maya and then if you select the sphere you can easily as well rotate it uh, to to adjust the lighting and of course this can be animated as well so let's say this is good so we have the the bright side here close to us okay that's cool so next thing to do is let's go back to our camera and then let's render and see what we got so it's done rendering and as you can see uh, there is a little bit specular on the nails but now we are using a blend for the material and that's not gonna work very well with arnold so we need to change that to an arnold material and the second thing you can see is very noisy now and that's because uh, the samples here is uh, set to one and that's really very minimum so we can adjust that later but for now we can keep it as one so this way we can have a speed uh, in rendering so let's save this image and then let's start adding a new shader so first let's go to the group let's select all the nails and then right click assign new material and let's scroll down to arnold standard surface okay let's change it to metal okay so here we have the weight we can keep it to 0 0.8 and then the color uh, we can keep it to white we need it to be white because we want it to be like silver and then the specular we can keep it all the way to one and the roughness 0 0.1 that's pretty good and then the only thing we need to change here is change the metalness from zero take it all the way to one okay uh, with that setting it's done let's uh, render and see what we got okay so it's done rendering so we can compare of course as a much better looks a lot more realistic now but still we can take this even further one thing is really nice to do always when you're using hdri and you render kind of like metal let's smooth these uh, nails so this way they can do a better reflection so let's save this image and then let's uh, while we're selecting all the nails let's go mesh smooth okay so now they get smoothed and uh, let's do another render and see what's the difference okay, so this is before and after so you can see after smoothing we get more defined reflections like in this area if you look here before it was like not very clear and now we get more defined and it just make things look uh, more better and of course smoother the geo look much better and the render time actually is uh, faster okay now so the next step as you can see there's a lot of black uh, spots here like everywhere there's black spots and let's try to reduce these black spots and make it more like uh, you know like metal in, in real life it's, it's more like have a nice specs on it so let's do that let's go to the viewport and then let's create a polysphere okay let's scale it we just basically need to cover our scene not everything and then uh, in the settings let's make sure we have the arnold tab open and the render stats and we're gonna untick to cast and receive shadows 
and let's change primary visibility because we just want it to be visible in uh, the reflection basically and let's assign new material to the sphere and let's change it to surface shader and let's pull it all the way to white right so let's render and see what we got so let's save this and let's render okay so it's done rendering and you can see it, the whole image become very very bright and it's almost feel like we're making it worse but the only thing here we need to change to make this to get this like highlights the white highlights but not have the sphere basically affecting the whole scene the only thing we need to change we go to the sphere Let's make sure the fuse reflection is turned off. And then let's render again. Let's save it before rendering and let's render. Okay, now you can see the diffuse doesn't affect that scene at all and just a specular uh, that ha that will be shown in our scene. So you can see like a big difference. And then let's delete this image and compare it to what we had before. You see there's a lot of black spots. And now it's kind of we have a lot of more white spots. So what we need to do now is tone down the reflections on the sphere itself. We don't have to adjust the material for this case. It's all about adjusting the sphere itself. So let's select the sphere and then let's go to the surface shader. And here you can see there's out transparency. Let's put it like halfway. Basically, we're making this sphere more transparent. So let's say let's see. Yeah, let's save this one and then let's render. Okay, so it's done rendering and you can see now the reflections looks a lot better. It's not as intense like before. This is like too white and now it's become more like natural looking uh, metal. So let's delete this image and let's compare what we had before and then uh, after. So now it looks a lot more realistic and better. So the next thing here, let's get rid of this noise and uh, reduce it as much as we can. So let's go back to the, let me close this one, let's go back to HDRI, let's select it. And as you can see here, uh, there is all these noise. So this can be a good indication to see if you fix a problem. So let's go back to the samples and let's change it from 1 to 3. So once we change it to 3, this uh, noise gets reduced here. If you keep an eye in here and then change it to 6, it's become even more cleaner. So let's do a quick render and see what we got. Let's save, render. So the render is done and now you can see before and after how the noise get reduced significantly. And that's basically how you can get rid of this noise. The samples I changed it to 6 but keep in mind that this is going to increase the render time. So before we had like 24 seconds per frame and now it's become 1, 1 minute and 33 seconds. So that's a lot of time and difference but uh, the quality is much better and that's really important because you don't want your renders to be noisy and uh, that's gonna make it not appealing that's basically how you do metal in Arnold it's a pretty simple process as you can see it's very important to keep in mind when you're creating metal is the reflection and the specular that's gonna influence a lot how it looks and uh, it's gonna make a big difference in making it more looking realistic and looks cool so if you want to get the links for the assets that I used, please check the blog and 3dmodeswall.com. We're going to have the links for uh, the HDRI that we use and we're going to also have the links for these nails that we used. Hopefully this tutorial helped you guys. Let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe for more future videos. Until next time, take care.